everything that you want. Okay, now I feel bad for giving that answer. This is not fair. So I compliment him every, pretty, pretty much every single day. I'd be like, oh my god, you're so hot. Why are you so hot? Why are you so soft? Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Vaka family. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to do a Q&A with all of you guys. We're very lucky to have a lot of you give us so many questions that we're very excited to answer. We want to thank you guys so much for all your love and support. We're getting to 2K so close. Thanks to all of you guys. We love you guys so much. If sure you haven't subscribed, subscribe and also follow our Instagram and our Facebook page. So question number one. This is from Instagram. Abhinav Giritaran, how does it feel to fall in love with a person who looks totally different from you? I wouldn't say that it's any different from falling in love with a person that has the same skin color or the same race as you because in the end we're all human beings, we all experience and feel the same thing but if you're pointing out to the cultural differences then that's for sure it's something that's really unique to interracial relationship what about you again i didn't fall in love with her because she was chinese or because of any other reason i actually liked her for her when you compare cultures i think the fact that i have learned so much with my time with her is the beautiful thing about being in a relationship with somebody who doesn't yeah. look like you next question Jayesh Kamble, what do you do when your boyfriend girlfriend is angry on you? How do you make him her happy? So with her, if I make her angry, I will always, always try to hug her. And I guess another important thing is most of the time he's the one that say I'm sorry first. <laughs> and for me, he's angry. I guess I'll just play cute yeah. and show him some of my puppy faces my innocent puppy eyes. I get angry quicker, mm -hmm. but I stay angry for a short amount of time. Yeah, for me, it's the, it's the other way around. Next question, why the Souza? Hot pot or pav bhaji? Pav bhaji, I'm okay. But if you ask me if it's hot pot or chef puri, then, then I'm gonna take like an hour to think about it. What about you? So if you've had Mumbai pav bhaji, that's when you realize how hard the decision is. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna stick with my roots and I'm definitely gonna pick pav bhaji because I've grown up with that. So Arvid3016 said, what is Summer's original Chinese name? So my original Chinese name is Xue Ying Chen. So Xue Ying is my first name and Chen is my last name. Next question from Ankita, the 5840. If suppose you two were in a long distance relationship, who would have more patience to wait for the other one? On a countdown? Three, two, one. <laughs> I would be much more patient. Yeah. I don't think my personality, I don't think I'll be able to survive a long distance relationship. Yeah. Mm. So I'm sorry, we'll have to stick in the same city forever and ever. Okay, well. So now we're moving on to the questions that you guys posted on our YouTube community post. Amun Rarox. Good name. When are you guys getting married and do you plan to have kids? Let's just say, for me, the idea behind getting married is I need to have a house of my own. And I need to be stable. Yeah, I need to be stable financially, mentally. I want us to get engaged fairly soon. And I'm not sure if I've mentioned to you guys, so he was actually going to propose me this June, this past June during my graduation because we're thinking his parents and my parents are both going to be here in Canada. So that's a perfect moment yeah. for him to propose me. But everything Things didn't got work out. So hopefully, hopefully, guys, that gives him more time to prepare a better one for me. And do we plan to have kids? Yes, we plan on having two kids. Two kids and ideally two girls because he absolutely want girls. For me, the ideal would be one older brother and one younger sister. That will save me so much work. Question number two, why D'Souza again? My question is to Summer. Favorite actor, Jackson Wang or Yang Yang? My favorite actor is Hong Yuyan. My favorite Yang actress is De Raba. Zhou Dongyu. I love her movies. Next question. Deepak Tripathi. Tell us about the most crazy things that you have done individually which scared your partner. I have a big scar here. So I learned this way on how to open a wine bottle. 
without having a corkscrew opener. BTW, don't try this at home. You put the bottle on a flat surface, mm -hmm. take a knife or a fork and try to push the cork down. Mm -hmm. So we bought a bottle of wine, didn't have a corkscrew opener at a friend's place. I pushed it a little bit, but then it's, it got stuck. And then I just used too much pressure. The bottle like literally exploded. Mm -hmm. The glass literally cut the back of my hand. And this picture is when he was after he got the stitches, yeah. he was like, I remember I have my ears covered with blood and all of that. It was definitely one of the craziest experiences that we have. What about the crazy thing you've done? To plan his birthday party this year. I guess it's one of it. Oh, that didn't scare me. I think that the, didn't I... really scare him, but that was one of the craziest things because I blew like few hundreds of balloons yeah. in the study room by myself and I tie all of them together and have like those balloon rests. That I guess I just got too bored at home I'd be like I want something grand for his birthday party. Arvid Vivek, what is Summer's real name? We already answered that. When will you collaborate with Bex and Arnav? We'll, we'll love to see your both collaboration. Bex and Arnav, we love you guys. Yes, curry and dumpling, we're real friends. We actually talk to them on a regular basis. Yeah. They're yeah. so sweet and they're... so cute and their cats are so adorable. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to their channel yet, make sure you subscribe. They're growing really fast and they have a lot of nice content there as well. So make sure you check it out. And more importantly, they're amazing people. And we definitely like to collaborate with them in the future yeah. for sure. We actually video chat with one another yeah. um, a few weeks back. And then we were talking about how they can either come here and we can collaborate or we can go to UK and collaborate with them. So that's definitely on our list. So yeah. So, here's your invitation, Arnav and Bex. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> Next question, Danvit Pujari. Oh, this or that. Please. Coming to India but your entry ban in China or coming to China but your entry ban in India? For me, it's definitely coming to India but entry ban in China because I can still stay in China. From my perspective, I would definitely want to see China mm -hmm. more. But if I had to choose, I would definitely choose India. Just because it's our home countries. Yeah, and my parents are there and her parents are in China. Yeah, so, But I know yes. for a fact that if she has, she has my last name, nobody's going to stop her to enter <laughs> India. So, Or maybe if I got stuck in India while well, you're not there, your families and friends are always there. Yes, right? my family so, is always going to be for, there. Same for you. Yep. Marrying in India or marrying in China or marrying in country where you are now. So we are in Canada. We want to have our marriage in China as well as India. Mm -hmm. We want to try both traditions. Um, Canada yeah. not so much because again most of our families are in India and China and we'd yeah. like to celebrate our wedding with our families. Wedding in Indian culture or wedding in Chinese culture. Again, we also answered that, I guess, in where we want to have the wedding. Yeah. Open life, when you guys are going to marry. See, some people are asking when we're going to marry. Very Come soon. On. Very soon. Well, it's a promise to you. You're so sweet. Anand Godara. Question one. What are your favorite memories of dating each other? Say the honeymoon period. That's my favorite memories. <laughs> I guess that's favorite memories of all of the couples out there. I think one of my favorite memories with dating her was when I went to China. Question two: Who was the first person to kiss? Who do you guys guess? Three, two, one. I took the leap. By the way, I took the leap of faith. Yeah, and we actually talk about our first kiss on our first day video. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. The short version is: We were walking. I stopped, she walked in front of me, she turned, asking me what happened, I grabbed her and I kissed her. So That's question three, what are your biggest fears about your relationship? We don't have any immigration status in Canada yet and I think that's mm -hmm. one of my biggest fears right now is if we can if one of us can't settle down in this country and we yeah. have to go back to our home country for any reasons. I guess my biggest fear is that we have a fight that we won't be able to recover from it. Question four. What is the nicest compliment you've received from your girlfriend? So I compliment them every, <laughs> pretty much every single day. I'd be like, oh my god, you're so hot. Why are you so hot? Why are you so soft? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> so I think the biggest compliment was when I wore a suit in front of you the first time. Okay. She was doing her makeup and uh, she just stopped doing her makeup and she looked at me like, is that really my Zach? He's even more hotter than the Taiwanese actor that she was talking about just now. No, 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 no. Question five. What's your most embarrassing story about you in front of your girlfriend? Your first company's Christmas dinner and you got drunk? 
and oh, I come yeah. back and I have to carry him all the way down the stairs. Yeah. And drag him, take off, help, take off his suits, and drag him all the way to the bedroom. Oh, okay. He was yeah. like, yeah, that's his, that's his drunk face. Question six: How forgiving are you towards your boyfriend? Depends on what happened. Like, if you, if you are. If you talk to another gal, then that is like zero. But if you like not do the dishes while I tell you to do, that's maybe like six. Oh, that's high. You know what? I should take more advantage of that. Okay, you know what? No, zero. Everything is zero. Not tolerant. Next question from G. So this is my friend Hamster. Hey, Hamster. What's your favorite thing about each other? I think my favorite thing about her would be... I'm pretty. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things, but mm -hmm. I think the fact that you're so cute. <laughs> Can you stop putting words in my mouth? Continue. You're very determined to actually do something. Though you get grumpy, but I know deep inside, you really want to be like your mother. You really want to be a hard worker like her. So I'm a strong, independent woman. Yeah. How about you? My favorite thing about you is everything that you are. Okay, now I feel bad for giving that answer. This is not fair. <laughs> Question from Sid. Have you watched Dragon Ball Z? Mm, no idea. What is that? Dragon Ball Z is an animation. Oh, wow. Japanese animation. He, in case you guys don't know, he is what I call an animation nerd. Game Thank maniac. maniac. Thank you for so many questions. What is the biggest argument you had till now? I think we almost broke up at that point. Yeah. We were very close I to it. I think so. And we fought until 2 a.m. in the morning. I think, I know. What is that for again? To be honest, I, I don't remember. I forgot. See, this is when you know that you're arguing for like unnecessary things because after a few days, you just can't even remember why you guys were arguing so much. I can't remember when's the last time we had a fight. What was the biggest fight you've had and how did that end? Well, that's well, basically... We just answered that, yep. basically. Uh, next. One specific great thing about having a Chinese girlfriend, Indian boyfriend, which you will not see in any other couple. I think one specific great thing about having a Chinese girlfriend is, for me, is her culture. I'm really glad I've actually experienced her culture. Yes, hot pot <laughs> would be the, the first thing, actually. How about you? My, it's probably Bollywood movies. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> that we sit together yeah. and Fair you actually explain to me what it is, what is that, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. For did summer watch cricket? No, I haven't watched any cricket games yet, but we, I we know might, we might that go for a game when we go to India. Yeah, I would love to, and I but I know that he used to play cricket a lot. He so he's pretty good at it. Which IPL team did you support? Well, I support my hometown, Mumbai Indians. Okay. It's my appeal then, team. Then that's the thing I'm supporting too. <laughs> yeah. The moment you realize she's the right girl for you and the moment she realized that you are the right guy for her. I think the moment when I realized is definitely this incident when I kind of realized that she was the right girl for me because the way she took care of me after that. And during the incident that happened, I literally yelled at everybody in the hospital because they moved so slow. And the moment I realized you're the right guy for me is... I think it will be the first you remember the bracelet gift that you gave me mm. and because he gave me that bracelet after i talked to him about i was having a lot of bad dreams lately and mm. he gave me um our first birthday together a dream catcher bracelet and he said because you told me that you have a lot of bad dreams so i want you to have this bracelet so that it can help you to catch all of the bad dreams away. Difference between dating in India and dating in China. Dating in China, I guess they're much more shy. I think the difference between dating in India would be, in India it wouldn't be the same. People will keep staring at us then, which would happen the same thing in China, I guess too. Yeah. Most racist comments you have ever received because of being a Chinese couple. Oh wow. Oh wow. There's too many guys too many for us to just talk about yeah it is frustrating but the but only thing you know we what it is it is part of life it is what it is no matter what like what i said in other video no matter what you're doing right now there are always going to be people that step you try to step you down so yeah just keep going and believe in yourself the one thing you like and one thing you hate about each other i wouldn't say i hate something about her i may dislike a few features 
Yeah, hate is a very strong, very strong word. word. Mm. I dislike when he's throwing all of his dirty clothes over the house. Like, I have to keep reminding him and it's it's just frustrating. The one thing I dislike about her would be her OCD. My occasional. Not occasional, but yeah, the constant a nagging. Even if one thing you because you're not doing what if, you're supposed a, I'm asking you to do. The problem is even if one thing is out of place, you'll be like Oh, can you put this away, please? I'm like, yes, because I want things to be tidy. I want things to be neat in our house. I don't want things like lying around, especially your dirty socks and dirty clothes. The thing we like about each other is definitely, I think I would miss her constant nagging sometimes. <laughs> too See? quiet. One thing that I like about you is that, oh, it's that you always, always dress up so well. And you always take care of your skin and your beard and your face and your hair and everything and your figure and now and that I, I still appreciate that because I think that's so important and that just makes me fall in love with you more. Why haven't you proposed her yet, man? When will you marry her? So Game many, mechanic we definitely so won't many very soon. Pressures on this yeah. guy. Six Six nine, six, nine SKJR. SKJR. Why Bobby looks like Naga Girl? I wanna know. What does Bobby mean? Bobby means sister-in-law. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so sweet. So, I don't know if I told you about this or not, but I am actually one of the minority race in instead of Han race, which is basically the majority race of China, I am actually Zhuang, which is in the southern, towards southern region. My, my grandparents from my dad's side. So they're actually fairly close to Vietnam. Thailand. Okay. I guess maybe that explains a little bit why. Probably she other. Actually, this is the last question. Apne pehli baar sex kab kiya tha? Um. Um. Okay, so we're not gonna answer this question for obvious reasons. It's for, too personal for us. Yeah. I mean, we are putting ourselves out there as you as um, YouTuber, like we're showing you our, our lives and all of that, but. But we this like, is too personal. But we like to keep some of our privacy as well, so we hope some of you can understand that. Yes. All right, guys, this was actually fun for us. We That's actually so enjoyed fun. this. Yeah, we can't wait to do the second one. So yes. make sure that next time we put a Q and A community post, you post your questions. And also, guys, we're going to do a poll for our next week's um, reaction video. So make sure you check it out and make your choice. If you guys enjoyed these questions, if you guys got to know us a little better, we're, we're glad. so glad. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, again for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. See you guys next week. Bye.